Well, hey, you everyone. Josh the Collector Guy. Well, look at all the stuff I found this week, ladies and gentlemen. Had another good week, as you can see. Found some pretty cool... Found a really cool 95 treasure hunt. Another red line there for you. Mad Mick gave me some cars. I'll get to that in a... Soon, trading cards, cars, cars, a lot of stuff to get to get through, even the mystery customs. But first off, we'll start off with Mad Mick. Met up with him again today at a swap meet. It was good to, good to see him again. And he also gave me a good amount of cars as well, which is much appreciated. Thank you very much, mate. Good to, meet, good to see you again. Good to meet your son as well. Just a few NASCAR cars. He's changed the wheels off, but I'll put them to good use, that's for sure. Two Pontiacs, two Camaros, what more could I ask for? Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, as always. Glad to meet up with you again, that's for sure. And hope to meet you more often as well. Also, uh, various things over the weekend, as you can see. Most of it from the swap meet today. Pretty cool era. Uh, off track, the racing truck doesn't have any tampos. That's pretty cool to me. Very cool, I really like that. Another good error in the collection. And another NASCAR as well. I do not know his name, but it's a Chevy, so that's pretty cool anyway. From 98. That's pretty old now. Another good pickup for the day. Oh, what could these be? I wonder what they are. Oh, the Camaros, of course. Picked up some today at the swap meet. Don't know if I have them or not, but I still bought them anyway. A pretty good price as well. Three for five bucks. That's good any day of the week. Two Camaro Concepts and also the 2010 Camaro. Very cool. Pretty sure I don't have that one, but I've got them all packed away somewhere and I still don't know what I have or don't have, but that's what happens when you love Camaros, I guess, or love any type of car. You always buy what you love. Also got some nice 69 ones here for you, the the blown one or the tuned or whatever they called it back then. Hard top 69, two convertibles. The purple and the red are really nice colours. Put them down. Got a treasure on Corvette, might do a wheel swap on on oh no, one day. As I said, Rat Fink trading cards, got them from the drags the other just yesterday, they were pretty cool. Lots of wild ones in there as always from Big Daddy Ed Roth. Some cars, cars, more NASCAR ones. Daryl Car Trip or Daryl Wall Trip as he's most commonly known. And just another one, just a random NASCAR. That one's pretty cool as well. What else? Mm, what else? Got Red Line Club car from a mad mate. Another Camaro. That one's pretty nice. Beautiful paint job. Oh, Moon Eyes decal just there as well. Very good, very good. Also, very tough 57 Chevy Nomad with the big blown engine. And Wild Flames, that's always a great combination. Matchbox NASCAR as well. Gee, NASCAR is the word of the day today, I think, ladies and gentlemen. Also, this one was a pretty good find. The 31 Doozy Treasure Hunt from 95. This is my second 95 Treasure Hunt in my collection. Pretty nice car too. Beautiful old car. Absolutely beautiful. Glad to have her in the collection. And also, picked up this very, very awesome red line off my man mate as well. Old Vagabomb. This has been on my most wanted list, I think, as well for a very long time now. What an absolute awesome model, I tell you that. Beautiful orange paintwork. Not too many decals. Flames would look good too, but they hit it on the spot with this one, I tell you. Absolutely beautiful model. Not bad condition as well, considering the age. You just gotta love the red lines, that's all I can say. And, point of the last bit of the video as always, ladies and gentlemen, the customs. These two are just wheel swaps again. Like, I reckon they're not too bad, but... Always let me know what you think of the customs. It's always very much appreciated. I just added the Matchbox off-road wheels to them. I re reckon that looks pretty tough, I reckon. Looks like a sand dragster or something like that. Whatever you like. Not too bad, I reckon. Just something different, I reckon, rather than the usual 
normal wheels, normal road wheels if you could say. But this one I'm pretty happy with, this one's really nice I reckon. Spent for ages trying to find these bronzy coloured wheels as well to match this one. I had to remove the, the guards as well but they fitted pretty well in there. Looks pretty tough I reckon. But yeah, me and my customs, friggin' so many ideas, I tell you that. One day I'll get an idea, try and do it. Next next day I'll get even more ideas, it's unbelievable. But anyway, I hope you like them customers, cus, customers, customs, ladies and gentlemen. As always, that's it now. Customs the last thing. So, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Mick, again. Really appreciate it, mate. Good to see you again as I and as I as I've been saying the whole video. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Very much appreciated. And as always, happy hunting. Keep the hobby strong. See you later, everyone.